Hello everyone, for today's maths lesson we are going to work on three problems that all revolve around creating an animal enclosure for a zoo. And for all three of these problems, the zookeeper has 40 metres of fence that he can use to create uh, the enclosures. And the idea is that for each of these three problems, we want the animal enclosure with the greatest area. So bear that in mind, we've always got 40 metres of fence and we want to create the enclosure with the greatest area. So for problem A then, this is quite simple to explain that the enclosure is in the middle of a field and it's going to be a rectangle so it's going to have four sides in the middle of a field. Now I'm going to do an example and the example that I am going to do is that the length of the enclosure is let's say 15 meters and that means that this side is also 15 meters so so far I've got 30 meters altogether but I've got 40 meters of fence that I can use altogether so these two sides must add up to 10 and they must be the same because it's a rectangle so that means that this side must be 5 meters and this side must also be 5 metres. So first thing I'm going to do is just check that my perimeter is 40 metres. The whole length of fence around the outside of this enclosure is 40 metres. So 15 add 15 add 5 add 5 is 40. So that's good. And now I need to work out the area, so it's a rectangle, so to work out the area I need to do the length multiplied by the width. So I need to do 15 multiplied by 5, and I'm going to do that using the column method, 15 times 5, so 5 times 5 is 25, and 1 times 5 is 5. Add the 2 is 7. So my answer for the area is 75 metres squared. So for this example, I've got an enclosure which is 75 metres squared. Now what I'd like you to do for problem A is to go away and work on some different sized rectangles. And the idea is that you find the rectangle that has the greatest area. So try lots of different ones. And once you think you've got the, uh, the enclosure with the greatest area, then make a note of what the area is. So pause the video now, have a go at problem A, and when you're ready to uh, move on to the next section, then restart the video. Okay, well done. Um, so if you've restarted the video, hopefully that means you're ready to move on to section B, which is going to look like this. Now for this problem the zookeeper has decided that he's got a length of wall somewhere in his zoo which he's going to use as one of the sides for this animal enclosure. So our 40 meters of fence that we've got this time is going to go up against the wall here and it's going to be a rectangle again so let me just try and draw what I mean. So this time, we've only got three of our sides that are using the 40 metres of fence. Uh, and I'm going to do one example again. So let's say that this time the fence, uh, let's say, is six metres away from the wall. And that means it's going to be six metres away from the wall on this side as well. And I need the length of this fence to take us up to 40 metres. So, so far I've got 6 add 6, which is 12. So what does this length need to be to take me up to 40? Well, I'm going to do 40, take away 12 metres, which will leave me with 28. So I know the length of this fence needs to be 28 metres. I can just do a quick check like I did 
on the last example that my perimeter of these uh, of, of this shape or I should say the three lengths that I've got for my fence add up to 40 so 8 add 6 is 14 add 6 is 20 2 add 2 is 4 so 40 so I know that that's right again these three sides add up to 40 and for my area of this rectangle I need to do my length times width again length times width which is going to be 28 times 6 and again I'm going to use the column method so 28 times 6 well 8 times 6 is 48 2 times 6 is 12 add this 4 is 16 so my answer for my area is 168 meters squared so this enclosure here is 168 meters squared so this is problem b and I, again like similarly to, to problem a i'd like you to go away and try and work on different uh sized enclosures remember that you've got the wall acting as one of your sides uh, for this problem and again the aim is to find the enclosure with the largest area so pause the video now have a go at this problem b and restart the video when you're ready to move on to the final part of this lesson okay well done so for the final uh, part of this lesson we've got problem c and this is an extension although i'm hoping that a lot of you will have a go at this and what's in section c or problem c is that the zookeeper has found uh, an area of the zoo that has a corner wall like this and he's decided that the animal enclosure is going to come out of this corner part of the wall here so we need one side to come out of this part of the wall here and one side that's going to come out of this wall here and we're going to join them up using straight lines of fence so this area in here is going to be our animal enclosure so let's give um some length to these sides we're going to have this side is four meters away from the wall the length is four meters uh, we've got this side that can be eight meters we've got this side over here can be 12 meters and finally this length of fence across the top can be 16 meters so the black lines that i've colored in are my is is my length of fence that i have and hopefully this is going to add up to 40 meters so 16 add 12 add 8 add 4 6 add 2 is 8 add 8 is 16 add 4 is 20 1 add 1 add 2 is 4 so again uh, my length of fence equals 40 meters which is what i wanted and now i need to work out the area so this is a compound shape i guess it's made up of some smaller shapes smaller squares and rectangles and what i'm going to do to work out the area is i'm just going to section off this little part here to make it into two shapes now i could work out the area of this shape quite easily i need to do the length by the width so 16 times 8 let's call this shape a and for the area of shape a we've got 16 times 8 and i'm going to use the column method again so 16 times 8 so 6 times 8 is 48 and 1 times 8 is 8 add the 4 is 12. so the area of this rectangle shape a is 128 meters squared and then i've got this shape let's call this part uh, of the enclosure shape b now i know that this side is four meters but i don't know what this side is i only want up to this line where i've cordoned it off well if i know that the whole length of this part of the fence is 12 meters and this part over here is eight meters well the difference 
this little bit, or I guess this side over here, must be the difference between 8 and 12. So this little part of the enclosure must be 4 metres. So for shape B then, the area of shape B will be 4 times 4. I don't need to use the column method for that. I know it's 16 metres squared. So I've got my area of shape A, which is 128, and my area of shape B, which is 16. So my total area is going to be 128, add 16, which is 144 metres squared. And that is the total area of this animal enclosure for part C. Now what I'd like you to do is have a go at these for yourself. So draw a little corner wall and then make an animal enclosure um, like I've done here using different lengths. And again, the idea is that you want to make the animal enclosure with the greatest area. So that's it for today's lesson. Uh, once you've finished this problem, make sure that you've taken a photo of your work and you upload it onto Google Classroom so that your teacher can see what you've done.